and welcome to another episode of Low Tech Health with Brad Burns and our self translate expert knowledge. Today is let's no, today is what's today? Oh dear, I've been sleeping so much, I hear it's important to make sure you're fighting the corona. Today is Wednesday, it's wasabi walnut, what's hurting my tummy Wednesday? And you know Probably the jalapeno poppers I had last night is probably what's hurting my tummy today. It's a little uncomfortable. Oh, what was that? Did you see that? Something ran past us. Well, oh dear, there's a hair on my tongue. I can't stand it. Well, I had a period of time where I was telling lots of lies, and they were just very upsetting to me. I thought I was okay with telling them, but in truth, there's the hair I was talking about. Yeah. In truth, I can't stand telling lies, and it tore me up inside. I was having uh, diarrhea every day, and at least once after every meal, sometimes twice after every meal, no matter what I ate, but I thought went through a period of trying to figure out what it was. Was I lactose intolerant? Was that what was hurting my tummy? Do I need to take lactate? I was chewing it to see if it would help. And it helped a little bit. I thought I had irritable bowel syndrome, the diarrhea kind. But it turns out, after I confessed, solid poops. So know that when you're lying, even if you think you're okay with it, it's having dramatic effects on your body. So, on Wasabi Walnut, What's Hurting My Tummy Wednesday, I must tell you, you must speak the truth to people. It does... Oh, hello. It's one of our previous guests staying in the... What's the opposite color of lime? Not the lime light, but the brown light. (laughs) (laughs) She's making me coffee. I'm outside spending... The wonderful few minutes, the golden hour. Because <laughs> just because you're isolating doesn't mean you're going to have fun. Oh. Can you hear the bells toll? <laughs> Whoa, easy. So let's change gears here. When you, like me, may work in a hospital, there are things that you must do that kind of make you a mm, little less than hopeful about your situation that day. Like taking maybe eight patients when you really should be taking nearly eight patients. Or having to use supplies in a way that just they weren't intended by the manufacturer. And in these days of piss poor personal protective equipment reserves, we are having to mm, do things that probably are not the best idea. Like reusing gowns or masks that are generally intended for one-time use. We are even being told to keep them in our lunchbox. I mean, a brown paper sack. Not to be confused with our lunchbox. And these are things that will harm you. They won't feel good when you get the coronavirus from listening to them. And maybe it'll be mild. Maybe it'll be severe. But too many of us have already started dying, and just generally getting ill. And we're not taking it very seriously. So it's a few things I would like to remember to remind you to do if you are in these situations. You should, first of all, know your limits. Don't go in if you do not feel protected. That is basic life support right there. The scene is not safe, my dears. The scene is not safe. Don't go in without the proper personal protective equipment, the PPE, if you will, and be sure to write anything down that management or administrators tell you, and try to, and have a witness, don't try, have a witness, not necessarily HR, oh, I thank you, but someone who will corroborate what you're saying, write everything down that was said, and even jot down an email to yourself, and print it out. It will also be tremendously helpful to familiarize yourself with the hospital's policies regarding PPE and to see if they've been changed in the last 30 to 60 days. 
Because I just don't think we can have the CDC look out for us anymore. They've been changing their story. We know this thing is airborne, so protect yourself. And Wasabi Walnut, what's hurting my tummy Wednesday? I hope that you will listen, and I hope that you are staying well and getting a little bit of the golden hour. Love you all. Have a lovely evening. I'll see you Friday.